Alrighty guys, we're coming off the bridge over the intercoastal. There is Daytona Beach in front of us. We are here. Yep, gang, definitely still Jeep week. Jeeps all over the place. Some pretty Jeeps, too. I'd say 90% of the vehicles parked here on the beach are Jeeps. Now, gang, that took some skill and some work right there. You can tell it's just finishing up Jeep week over here in Daytona. That looks pretty flippin' cool, guys. Yep. A lot of Jeeps. We've only seen one detectorist, guys. It was a lady. I have not seen Brian. I'm trying to find Rob right now. Okay, it's a lot longer beach than Clover Beach. That looks cool too, that yellow one. Jeeps as far as the eye can see. Oh, the yellow one's nice. Dude, take off your socks. Look at your dork. Alrighty guys, check that baby out. Well guys, we finally found one of the two people we're looking for. There's uh, Brian from I Dig Daytona, just finishing up with a signal. It's only taken three passes at the beach for us to find each other. Alrighty guys, I'm out here on Daytona Beach. Buddy Steve's at the back of the car. There is just Jeep after Jeep after Jeep going by, guys. All right, there's three other detectors out here. Let's just go see if we can find a coin out here today, guys. Um, take it easy. All right, here we are, guys. More Jeeps going by. I'm just past the drive chain. There's another detector. I don't know who that is. Uh, Brian, I think Daytona is to the south of me. And there is the... Daytona Pier and the drive area of the beach stops right there. All right. All right, guys, I'm about uh, just past ankle deep water, but some of these waves come in. I just got my shorts wet. Uh, you guys, I just got a scream in 1819. Thought for sure it was going to be a coin or something loud, something big. Guys, that tiny little aluminum washer, that was that screaming signal. And then my first signal was a real quiet five. Thought it was going to be a ring, but it was a pool tab. All right, we're out here in the water, guys. This is my 
fourth signal I've had out here at Daytona Beach. Look at that beautiful 11, 12, 13, guys. This could be a nickel, this could be a pull tab, or it could be a ring. I'm rooting for gold ring. I'm rooting for a ring, too. Ground's moist. Yeah. It's moist! <laughs> It's in here. I'm not seeing a ring. Oh, hang on. Ah, Beaver tail. Rat farts. All right, guys, we've just come back to the beach. Uh, we're now north of the pier. Uh, I didn't know this whole section existed. So we're going to go up here and see if we can find anything. Might hit the dry sand, guys. Uh, I dig Daytona. Brian has pulled a bunch of old coins out. He won't tell us where that hot spot is, and I don't blame him. But a lot of this seawall was had to be replaced and is damaged. You can still see them doing construction from the hurricane, guys. Um, but they lost a lot of sand here. You can see where it's not painted, okay? Uh, so, yeah, it's down a good two feet in sand. Alrighty guys, another cool Jeep there next to us. It's got this little ducky on the front. Ducky's been real popular here, guys. There we go. Alrighty guys, there you go. Moist, because at least one person you know hates that word. And Bernardo <laughs> Rob, I cherish this shirt. Yep, I got him that shirt when I heard him using it on his channel. And then I did enough. Uh, it's getting late in the afternoon here. The beach is thinning out. A lot of the Jeeps have left. We're doing the uh, high dry sand. Giving it one more shot before we call it a day. Well, gang, I didn't find anything extraordinary on the uh, on the beach, metal detecting, but I didn't really have a lot of time out there, guys, as far as my uh, hip. So I wasn't expecting uh, a big day. But, folks, I dig Daytona. Brian had a phenomenal day that day. His video is up, and uh, he got five pieces of jewelry, including two rings, guys. I will put a link to his video in the About section of this video. Please go check it out. He had a great day. And he gives me a little shout out in the video. And also check out Rob, mainly dirt fishing. Him and his son had a two great finds on Daytona Beach. I'll show you clips of those right now. He has put them in his shorts, uh, one of his recent short videos. So please go check them out, uh, mainly dirt fishing. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. Here's Rob's finds. Excited, everybody. My boy's got something. Let's see what he's got. Oh, look. Videoing? Yeah, I'm videoing. Ooh. Adam. Wow, buddy. Oh, that is beautiful. This is beautiful, folks, and it's heavy. I'm going to venture to say, this is silver. Oh yeah, son. Nice score. I'll get back to you when I know what it is. My son found a silver bracelet on the beach. Get excited, son. You're awesome, man. Alrighty, folks, as the sun sets behind the hotels, we're pulling off the beach. 
There we are. Got, got Marvin parked on the beach, guys. Say goodbye, Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, we don't want to run that over. Yep, all those brand new seawalls there. And then I'm assuming they're going to do like that one and put the uh, cement over top of it. Alrighty guys, here's the cool tunnel we go through underneath the hotel. They've already got it closed for coming in, but there we go guys. Underneath the road, underneath the hotel. way cool well guys it was good meeting rob mainly dirt fishing it was good seeing brian i dig daytona again now me and steve are going to figure out how to get out to the interstate and head back to the disney resort way anyway, guys there we go passing the speedway right now before we get on the interstate and of course guys diet or no diet when we're over at disney there was only one place that steve and i could go for dinner so that's where we stopped on the way home from Daytona Beach. Alrighty guys, here we are at Giardino's with the uh, large three toppings, sausage, mushroom, and pepperoni. We are going to uh, enjoy this baby, guys. And hey, Minardo Maniacs, don't forget while you're watching this premiere to make sure you leave a comment in the chat during the premiere. That way you are qualified to win a mystery silver coin on next Sunday morning's live stream. All you gotta do is be there, folks, and you could win some silver. Thanks for watching, everybody. Much appreciated.